Good morning. I believe it is day 384 of from here to Jerusalem. Walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. Sean the harp is here. Jerry the stick is here. My good self. And we're walking out of Chanakula. Uh, yeah. Time to move on. Troy is waiting. The city, the ancient city, destroyed city of Troy. Uh, I spent the past two days with Adil's family. Uh, and it was really, really, really good. Really good. Clean clothes again. Oh, eight loads of eggs. <laughs> And uh, yeah, because they're a Pakistani family and they've only been here for a few years, it's a completely different perspective again. Today, their son is getting circumcised. So yesterday we had little boys checkups and uh, all the checkups to make sure that he was ready to go through this procedure. Uh, for their uh, experience, you know, for their traditions. He was a little bit late for the circumcision. Uh, and now I'm wondering which way to go. Hang on, do I go left, do I go right? I think I go here. I think it's here. Yeah, I'd say that's... And, uh, yeah, they, they come from a society which is all Islamic uh, into Turkey which has better provisions a better lifestyle but it's still really cheap nothing like Turkey and uh, you know he makes enough money he's a freelancer he makes enough money and the stories are just incredible uh, wanting to go on holiday just to see Europe getting turned down like for every country <laughs> all the time just on the basis of passport and they have a joke amongst themselves you know that the English emb embassy uh, makes like so much money on just rejecting visas <laughs> uh, I don't know I'm still gonna check if I did this right and I did so Adil works as a freelancer. He's got two children, a daughter and a son. Uh, of course, inflation has hit them too, but nothing to the extent like it would hit the local population because actually his work is for many English and American, com American companies. There you go. It's a... Uh, it's an odd old, old world, you know. Uh, England is looking for cheap labor. They find it. And Turkey is where they live. I also met his friends. And, you know, because they're Muslim, they're actually comfortable here because it's a Muslim country. But even here, they have the experience of, for the first time, seeing wine and beer in the shops. Uh, they were telling me stories about, you know, <laughs> about uh, their perspective of history. Uh, what is truth? You know, 
because because of uh, because of the way they are educated and this goes for some Turkish people as well their perspective is completely different and definitely there is this feeling that Europe and America they work together just to create war in the subcontinent and the Middle East <clears throat> you can't really hold it against them for for thinking this because that's exactly what it looks like try and explain that like <clears throat> now Adil doesn't really speak Turkish but his daughter is going to a Turkish school uh, and we had a good old chat about uh, you know culture clashes living in another culture uh, integrating in another culture how far this goes what that means it was really good it was really good uh, I'm not uh, talking uh, this pilgrimage in terms of creating peace because I, I don't believe that is uh, that's the primary aim here for me. But, you know, if you really have those conversations, if you really, because there's lots of questions, then what do you say? I'm on a pilgrimage. Uh, so first, there is the explanation of that there is different types of Hajj uh, and their Umrah actually starts uh, preferably starts in Jerusalem so Jerusalem because that's the first Kaaba the first place where the temple fell and where the Al-Aqsa Mosque is now is where their Kaaba was under the Caliphate uh, and under uh, during the Ottoman Empire I watched the uh, Quran being read in the Hagia Sophia this morning song more like it and uh, of course I haven't seen the Hagia Sophia since it became a mosque again and he was saying but it was built as a mosque and I said no it wasn't built as a mosque it was built as a Byzantine church but it's built as a mosque I didn't have the heart to say well the buildings the mosque buildings are are based on designs of early Ottoman designs of Byzantine designs and they were churches and so I said well there's actually mosaics which are part of the wall but you can't see them because they're covered over and he said they're not there I've never seen them so we looked them up online and then we looked closely at the picture on the TV and yeah you know you've got the shields which were there when the museum was open as well and then you see these sail like coverings over Mary and Christ and the other Christian depictions when the Mo when the Hagia Sophia fell in the hands of the Ottomans it was considered of such such beauty standard that the order was given that it should not be broken down and that it should be turned into a mosque and we were we were talking and we agreed that yes you know for religious people there is one God and that the road there can be can take many forms but I've got my work cut out for me that's for sure because I'll have to have these conversations from here on out the whole time uh, oh, good morning Dogo uh, so I'm walking along nicely now uh, I have about 22 kilometers to do good morning good morning good boy and uh, I'm heading I'm heading further south for now good boy heading further south
and then land inwards towards Troy. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. And we had music and uh, we all tried to, we all shared the music and I was saying, you know, Daud played the harp. <laughs> he did. And he sang psalms. Yeah. Let's go do this. It's a little bit overcast today. Uh, it's about 12, 13 degrees. And there, over there, is the Mediterranean. Ah, so close. So close. So close. This is still all the Dardanelles. Amazing, right? Ah. There we go. I think I need to go find some tea. I think I've done the first five kilometers. Uh, tea would be good. Tea in a toilet. <laughs> ah. Bring it on. Oh, it's beautiful. Just uh, had my uh, lunch, late breakfast, the summit I bought when I had tea. I have 13 kilometers to the next village, and uh, then I'll see how I get on. It's still early, like it's before 12. No, oh. should be okay. Should be okay. I'm not sure I can make it all the way to uh, where I want to go because it is really long. The wind is cold, I better get going, which is actually good for me, because as long as the wind is cold, the air is cool, it's easier to walk for me. So I'm going to go along the coast there, and uh, then headland inwards at some stage. That was my new little friend, here's my other little new friend. Uh, they both had a part of my summit. Yeah, there's nobody outside, like, this is like a real uh, seaside resort town, and uh, the wind is cool. Like, <laughs> this morning I left uh, Chanakula, and this car stopped, and the window opened, and this man and this woman, they got like, welcome to Turkey. And then I walked into the 
the place here and uh, this woman stopped me this massive big American car going like do you need anything do you need help I said no I'm good there's no clouds it's all good it's nice and fresh all I have to do is walk you're not lost no I'm not lost I'm okay so yeah that's it really hey what are you doing stop doing that time to go Time to go, time to leave my friends behind and uh, move on. There we go. It's an actual cycling path. It is an actual cycling path. Well, I'm gonna walk on it. <laughs> I just uh, come off the track and it suddenly is dawning on me where I am. I'm in the Hellenistic world. This is it. I'm back like in primary school, learning the Iliad. Andra moyene pumusa. Which is the first, these are the opening lines of the Iliad. I'm here, like, I'm here, I made it. And I always joke, you know, that uh, with the 23 kilos on my back and uh, the harp, which is like related to the, uh, the old Greek lyre. <sighs> I always joke that uh, in the in Greek mythology, you've got like these children uh, of like semi gods with gods and with humans, and they have all these crossovers and giants and stuff. I always say, I'm a semi demi 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 god, you know, a woman with enormous strength. So I'm here. I'm here to visit my relatives. Semi demigods and semi demi demigods and semi demi demi demigods and semi gods and Olympus and the whole whole shebang. I'm here. <laughs> it's just it's crazy. <sighs> this is where it all happened. This is where those stories come from. This is where the battles were fought. Yeah. This is where the ships arrived to try and uh, to try and get Helen back. Helen of Troy. And the epic, epic, epic battles that ensued around the city of her husband. Uh, of her, yeah. Oh, I'm a happy bunny. I really am a happy bunny. I'm really grateful that the clouds are there today. Open heart, open mind. If it is important, open the road before me and I will walk. Ah, it's there. I even have a cycling track. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's go do the last uh, five, six kilometers into the next town. And uh, by early evening, I should arrive just 
on the outskirts of the old city of Troy. <sighs> See you later. So the path is uh, completely overgrown here, uh, so I'm going to go back to the road and just finish uh, the walk into the next town over the road, not along the coast, the path just isn't there. Um, the, the grain is too high and whatever grows in between, nobody's been here in, in a while and it's been wet. so. Yeah, I, you know, you could do it on navigation, but I can't see where I'm going. It's up to uh, up to here, so I'm just not going to do it. Back to the road it is. Have a bit of a breather, some water, and off I go again. <laughs> <laughs>